Okay. So the next step after you've wrapped this present that is nice and creased on all sides, right here as well, you're going to want to put the ribbon. Now, you can do it either way. You can do it horizontally or you can do it vertically. I prefer to do it vertically so that way more of the ribbon are sh is showing. So you're going to put your left thumb, hold it in place as you wrap towards the right until you get back to where you started. Now that you're back here, overlap it. Put your thumb back there and put the ribbon towards the top. Make it, bring it back to where you started. You can see now that everything is crisscrossed and it's overlapped. So with this part, just tuck it in over the crisscross. So you have the ribbon there and that's how it looks in the back. I have wired ribbon right now. You don't have to use wired ribbon. You can use satin ribbon. You can use regular ribbon. But since I'm using wired ribbon, I can puff up the bow and try to make it even. You're going to take your scissors, fold this side outwards. So make sure the outward is facing to the right. Grab your scissors and cut on an angle. And now you have the V. If you think that the ribbon still is too small, take that excess ribbon that you have, tuck it in from the bottom on an angle, and get it from the other side. What I usually do, I make another bow. Make sure that the ribbon is tight as well. Puff it up. Do the same as what you did. Fold it, cut it on an angle, fold it again, cut it on an angle at the open. Voila, you have a ribbon.